Kristen, let me kick off with you. Trade, so they agree on things, they disagree on others. What does it mean for, you know, trade uh, tensions? Are they decreasing or increasing? We always have the view that this will be a very prolonged, protracted process. But I have to say, the demands right now are quite high. I mean, there used to be a talk of 100 billion, now it's 200 billion. And you cannot prescribe these type of moves. They have to do with saving investment balances. You know, savings are very low in the U.S. The U.S. is actually going to increase that twin deficit by the fiscal stimulus. Uh, China seems to be willing to open, but will they retreat from their 2025 strategy to, be, you know, with their technology goals? I doubt it. So uh, I think uncertainty is high. Markets, in particular, if you look at FX volatility, don't seem to really price, uh, you know, the kind of potential risk that we have, even beyond China, if you look at the Iran deal, et cetera. So I think um, we see it in sentiment indicators already, and we see it in some very interesting correlation changes where suddenly, you know, with higher U.S. rates, we see a stronger dollar, we see weaker, you know, weaker uh, um, equity markets. And, and that all points towards high uncertainty and potential high volatility ahead, I think. Um, Louis, I mean, first of all, you know emerging markets like an O&L, so you understand how the Chinese work, how they negotiate. Um, just the fact that they did send Peter Navarro people that have been very anti-China to China, how would that have been received by the Chinese? Absolutely. This is, this is the one <clears throat> single uh, important focus here, which is the fact that, I mean, it was not only Nuchin, it's Lighthizer. It's uh, Peter Navarro. And, and knowing that, I mean, as a matter of fact, if I have to pick one person to be the face of U.S. White House trade policy changes here, it's Lighthizer. It's not, it's not necessarily uh, Steve Mnuchin. So uh, I, I do believe that, I mean, the, the, the conversations we had uh, in Washington very recently, they point to a much more abrasive agenda. And, and yeah. I agree with Christian when he says that uh, it's not going to be a walk in the park in terms of negotiations here, most likely for the PL shocks to the market.